Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I'll show you how to build your own cost calculator forms using Jet Engine and Elementor. If you don't have Jet Engine, you can get it from the link in the description. It's a part of CrocBlock package, so you can get it with many other plugins as well, or you can buy it as a separate plugin. Link to that will be in the description. We'll just use jet engine to build our cost estimator form and the form will be totally front end the user doesn't have to be logged into our site it will work even for guest users so this is how it's done once you install and activate jet engine click on jet engine it will take you to the settings and under modules you have to check this forms checkbox click on save now it will automatically reload the dashboard in few seconds wait for it it's done now you'll see a new entry called forms you just click on that now this form will have all the fields that i want users to fill to calculate the cost based on the fields that he fills right so i'll just click on add new i'm going to say cost calculator we have to build the form in the back end first and then we can use it on any elementor page post or a template so i'll just say cost calculator you give it any name you want I'll just remove these fields I don't need this one I'll also remove this for now so the first field is I just want the client to pick the number of pages that I want that he wants me to build so the type will be number and the field name is really important because this is what we're going to use to calculate the cost so I'll say number label can be number of pages this shows on front end and this is to calculate the cost so I'll just call it number description you can give it a description it's required you know minimum value we want at least one page right the client cannot obviously enter negative numbers so I'll say one you can also specify a step so the rate at which the value increases when he clicks on the step button you can also specify that I'll just click on apply changes now the first field is added that's the number of pages and the second field I want is actually a drop down where he can pick the number of years he wants to work with me this time it will be a select so i'll just click on select again the field name is important so i'll say years label i'll say how long you want to work with us and i need to select manual input you can obviously pull in custom posts and fields and stuff like that but you know we'll just add our options manually since this is totally front end i don't want any custom fields or posts because user any user can visit this page and actually uh, put in his value so the first label one year and the value for it will be 150 dollars you don't have to enter the dollar sign you can prefix it at the end i'll click another option for two years i'll maybe charge him 250 dollars right 250 is the value and the label can be anything it can be one, one year, anything you want and value is important. It has to be a number. I'll just click on apply changes. Now the second field is added and the third field I want him to pick is or uh, any services that he wants. So I'll select check boxes this time and I'll say services. So the name of this field is services and uh, label will be additional services. Now again, let's add few options. So for SEO, maybe I'll charge him 100 bucks and for copywriting, maybe I'll charge him 100 bucks more and for marketing or digital marketing, I'll charge him 100 bucks more, right? I can scroll down, click on apply changes. I'll add a submit button. Obviously you want the user to submit the form so that you can mail him. You can also enable recapture verification if you want, right? And even better, you can rescale these fields just by clicking and dragging. And once you see a number or a fraction, when you let it go, the field is resized to that particular amount. So now I see two by three, just leave it and it will be scaled to that particular size. Or if you wanted to full width, just stretch it out. Or you can simply stretch it out to two third. And you can then stretch this to one third of that. And you can click and even position it right next to this field you can also do this kind of layout adjustment in jet engine i'll do the same with maybe make it full width this will be the layout of the form now i added a submit button and you can choose 
which action to perform when the submit button is clicked so you can obviously send an email right there are other actions too we'll just send him an email or we'll just send ourselves an email and now you have something called macros macros are basically dynamic tags in elementor or the dynamic tokens that you find in dynamic content plugin so these values will be replaced by the values entered by the user or the values that come from database in this example we're actually using the values generated by the user so you can actually use any values and between percentages whatever you fill in that whole value will be replaced with that so if i pick number it will be filled with the number of years that the user enters we'll get to that in a bit so actions will obviously be email you can also customize the form notification settings right you can also add a recapture now before submit button i also want to add another field i'll just click and drag it above this and this field is the form amount field so i'll just click on this scroll down and click on calculated I'll call it amount cost or let's actually call it cost and this is where you put in your formula right and they give you an example of how to use this just copy this pattern I'll paste it since we're all using the front end fields you can simply replace this with each of the field values so for number of pages it's number so this whole value will be replaced by the number entered in the number of pages field right so this is called a macro or in other words it's a dynamic tag so this whole thing including the percentages this will be replaced if he enters let's say 23 this will be replaced by 23 now i just want to multiply this value by 50 so that's my base charge so total number of pages multiplied by 50 and then to that I'll copy this once again and I'll add services. I'll add years as well. I'll also add services, right? So this will be the total calculated value. You can put in your own formula. You can use divisions. You can use subtractions. You can do all sorts of stuff. Let's see how this works on the front end, right? You can also customize the decimal places. I'll just, I don't, I just don't want any decimal places. I'll just enter zero. So you won't get anything like 26.00 or something like that. So I'll just enter zero and the suffix should be dollars, right? Obviously, or you can enter any currency that your website is all in. Before clicking on update, it's important to click on apply changes to each field. Now let's see if we've entered the correct name. The name is number, this is fine. And the second field yes that's fine this is also fine let's check the services i think this is services yes this is fine so this name whatever you enter this name should be included in the macro that's what you should do to calculate the form or the form uh, price right now i'll publish this and remember the value that you use in the formula this should be the name of the field that you're trying to get right so whatever you enter in the name will be this whole thing will be replaced by the field that has this name same thing with this so this whole thing will be replaced with the years field and this whole thing will be replaced with the services value okay now we're done we'll just create a new page i'll just call it cost form or you can call it anything just open up any elementor page post or a template so once the form or the page loads just search for the form it's not this one or this one it's this one it's the simple form and this is an elementor pro form as you can see i don't have the pro version of the site it's not even required click and drag this now it'll ask me to pick the form obviously it's the cost calculator form that we just created right so that's how it's gonna look if you don't like the layout well you can use custom css and you can also adjust the field settings well i'll just click and i'll just click and drag it and just make it normal i'll just stretch it to full width so i'll just click and drag it i'll stretch everything i'll update it once you update it in the back end all the changes will also be replaced here and it also shows you the preview when the form is submitted successfully and when there's an error and you can also choose the submit type whether to reload the page which is what you should do because so that the user doesn't submit the form again 
I'll publish and let's actually update the form because we updated the layout in the back end. Once the form is updated, well, you can see now it's full width. I'll just click on the preview changes button. You can obviously open up the page in which you added this and test this out. I'll just click on the preview button of the template to test this out. Now watch what happens as the default value is one. It automatically calculates the cost and it sets $150. So let's say I just entered 10 pages and when I click on the next one, when I pick one year, it calculates the value. So 10 into 50 is 500 and for one year, I'm charging him 150 bucks more. So 500 plus 150 is 650. If he picks two years, well, 100 bucks more, like I'm charging him 250 bucks. So 10, if I replace this with 20, that into 50 is 1000. And for two years, $250, it's $1250, right? And if he picks any of the options, those values will increase the form amount by 100 bucks each. You can see that here. When I uncheck these, the cost is right. It's that simple. Now you can apply any formula to it. You can also do subtraction. Now you can also do calculations such as divisions, not just multiplication. So you can wrap the amount to be divided or the value to be divided in these rounded braces, add the division symbol and then add the division amount. You can do this for one field or actually you can do it for two fields. So if I remove this from here, I can wrap these two fields within braces and then I can divide it with two, right? I can also wrap this in braces. So that will clearly indicate that these are all one fields. And there's one more thing to note. Once you make any changes to any field, you shouldn't click on update. You should first click on apply changes and once you click on that, then you can click on update. Okay, we're ready to go. We'll refresh this page again. Now, since you're building your logic only once, you don't have to do this refreshing thing. I'm just doing it just to show you how things are changed. I'll click on preview changes. The preview is reloaded. So I'll say $10, sorry, 10 pages. And you can see that it's now half of this value and the value that he picks. So we're adding 500 bucks plus half of this and since we didn't pick this value, it was zero. So half of 75, $150 was 75. So 500 plus 75, it was 575, 675. So something like that. You can also add subtractions to your formula and based on your formula, well, put the formula in here, use the macros. Again, each field, each macro should have the name of the field that you want to get. And you can also, if you're adding your values in maybe decimal values such as $5.99 or $5.99 well you can also use decimal places like I said once you change any field you have to click on apply changes click on update now if as you can see the value is now 75.00 because we added a decimal value so that's how you do elementor cost estimator forms just by using the free version of elementor and the powerful jet engine plugin this is the first video on Jet Engine. There are ton of videos on Jet Engine coming soon on the channel. Stay tuned for that and subscribe if you didn't already. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.